let's go ahead and call this the video before the finale, shall we? Um, a couple things I'd like to do here. One really important thing has yet to play, and I want it to play, and that is Kazuhisa's death. Um, I'm not gonna wait around forever for that to play, but I'm gonna give it a little, a little bit of time. Um, here you can see a couple of things. Uh, attack Tenma Bridge to stop Ishijijijij. That is the end of the game. That's the final battle right there. Um, search for a mysterious temple. We'll be doing that. And uh, Demon's Daughter Kurohime. We'll do this because uh, it's important. I think it's a little bit more than a hentai sequence. Um, I mean, you get to see... I, I mean, it's going to sound weird, but Kurohime is mostly happy about this situation. Um, Rance toys around with her a bit because, uh, you know, he can, but she's pleased with Rance existing because he saved her and he's planning on killing Xavier. So that's important. And Kurohime is a nice person around Koime. You know, this, again, aside from her previous actions, you know, with Shimazu and basically killing the Shimazu brothers, she's a good person, you know, um... She's being a good person here with Ko. She's she's a good person in Ron's route. Like I've I've told you about her before, and I like this side of her a lot. Um, and I appreciate that she shows regret, but I mean, she you know she's like, oh, should I be alive? Was it selfish of me? I don't know. Well, it obviously was selfish of you. You know, she shouldn't be up in the air about that. Um. Yeah. But, uh, this does lead to, uh, I don't know. It's an okay age scene. I mean, as far as bondage goes, it's okay. I still don't really like that stuff, but it's a decent scene. Um, as far as I can remember, it's it's a very well drawn scene. Um, and that's what this goes for. Uh, aside from Kazuhisa's death sequence, um,. I will show you the sex change temple. That's hilarious, of course. Um, and I will show you uh, the Tenma Bridge, which is kind of a game over. Um, yeah. So I'll do that. Um, uh, you can consider it an alternate ending if you'd like. This part is an alternate ending to Sengoku Rants. For sure, that makes it sound cooler, right? Well, I mean, there are a whole bunch of alternate endings to the game, if you include all the bad ends and what have you. Really, Ron's route is the only one with a true alternate ending. And even then, it's it's fairly obvious that they intend Ron to pick Hojo Son, because it's the only, you know, ending of the two that has a unique CG. Yes, this is a very beautifully drawn CG, and actually... I didn't remember it being this hot. This is pretty good. I might have to just stop the video right now and fap. I'm not even joking. This is a very good scene. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, let me just skip it, though. I wouldn't want to, you know. I wouldn't want to. Uh, oh, my God, you guys. <laughs> You're so jealous right now. All this blush, all this... Oh, my God. That's the closest you're going to get to Ahegao in this game. You can believe that. Um... That was nice. That was refreshing. That was refreshing for me. Um, I know what I'm doing after this video is done recording. Uh, yeah, there is no uh, fuck silly Ahe Gao face. I think it's Ahe Gao, right? Um, Ahe Gao Ahoge are the hair things, right? I always mix up those two words. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. I, I already said it, but... uh. There aren't really any of those facial expressions in this game that I can think of. Um, there are some mind break faces. I mean, Layla's scene with Xavier gives you a good um, soulless expression if you're into that kind of thing. Um, maybe there are... Yeah, there are a few other faces like that, but uh, that's fine. So, Rance gets some satisfaction from Kurohime. Go figure. Um, so we are definitely searching for the mysterious temple. Oh, baby, we are doing that. Uh, and I guess we'll do that with Kento. Why not? Um, so you go and you find it, and I think once the first time that you search for it, you are also given, uh, you know, the opportunity to interact with it. You don't have to do it again. Um, you may, I'm not sure, but, uh, 
you go get the mysterious temple and uh it's like i said it's a sex change temple and it gives you the option to turn generic male commanders into women um and it also gives you the option to turn rance into a woman uh we'll be seeing that as well <laughs> but uh it's interesting it's very interesting of course rance won't let suzume turn into a man that would be you know, I'd be interested in that. I'd, I'd be very interested in seeing that. Um, you can't do this to important commanders. You can't do this to, you know, really any of the men in the game that you care about. Like, you can't do it to Son. You can't do it, like, okay, let me go to my... Actually, I'll just show you. I'll just show you, basically. That's all I have to do. Sex change temple, change someone's gender. And we'll let it play out here. And, um... I'll show you. I'll show you, uh, nobody, because I don't have any generic male commanders. I have Ando and Ganko, and I thought that they would be eligible, honestly, but they are not, for some reason. Um, so yeah, you've got to have really generic commanders for this. So, uh, you can pick nobody, or you can, uh, you can pick Rance. Well, let's see what happens when we pick Rance. Uh... This is a hilarious game over. <laughs> yes, you get a game over, you can believe that. No hyper weapon, you're not completing the game. Fuck no. Um, so, oh, there's the music. There's the uh, chime. Probably a reference. I think I have to click here. Let's see. And uh, there you go. If uh, you've seen this posted anywhere, it's not fan art. It's actually from the game. And there is female Rance. Rance chime. Um... I mean, I would. That's, uh... That's really interesting. Um, I'm not sure how to feel about this. But... Rance is a pretty hot woman, you know? Uh, there are no H scenes. There are no H scenes with the female Rance. Um... <laughs> this is... See it right there. Fucking perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> It's a good ending! You beat the game, and you did the right thing! Xavier, you know? Nobunaga pushes Xavier out of his body, just forces him out, because Rance looks so much like his wife, and chases after him. Ugh. You saved Nobunaga, you saved the world, but you got a game over, so... You know, there you go. <laughs> then it returns you to the title screen, and, and you really have to do it all over again. So, let me just load it quickly and show you the bridge. Uh, a normal person would cut the scenes, right? But I'm not going to do that. So, a Tenma bridge. A bridge connecting Japan and the main world, I guess. I couldn't read the rest of it. But, uh, that scene where you turn Rance into a woman is hilarious, and... Anybody who's played through the entire game and gotten there appreciates it. I definitely appreciate it. And, um, here you're given the option to go back to the continent and, uh, stay here and finish the events at, uh, the Tenma Bridge. You know, fight the bad guys, help Koime. I have never selected this option, but I'll do it right now. And, uh, find out what it means. <laughs> Along with you guys, if you haven't done it. Um... You know, Rance just leaves Syl behind, leaves Koime behind, leaves Suzume behind. All that. Uh, yeah. I've, like I said, I, I have no idea what's happening here. But, um, in that last scene where Rance is turned into a woman, I have a feeling this is going to be a lot more serious and depressing than turning Rance into a woman. But, uh, turning Rance into a woman also opens up a very hilarious dream sequence for Rance in alternate playthroughs. Um, likely in Isoroku's route, which I'll be doing next, he's going to, uh, have a dream in between turns. And it's going to involve every single male character from the game trying to sleep with him. And that's a great one. So, there's that part for you guys. I'll see you in the next one.